Welcome to my review of Another World, and this was on Switch. This is actually a remaster of the original games. In the U.S., we knew it as Out of This World back in the early 90s. And I actually beat the Genesis version of this game. It was actually on Sega CD is where I beat it. It was a port of the Genesis game with better sound, basically. And um, there was also an exclusive game on the disc called Heart of the Alien, which I'd like to beat one of these days. Um, but for beating... You know, the Genesis version back in the day, I, I read, um, basically out of a magazine, there was a pretty good text guide on, on how to beat it, but I still had to put a lot of it together myself, because it is a pretty clumsy fucking game, and it's real fucking specific when it comes to trial and error gameplay. But, I will say, the presentation, the atmosphere, and the animation was some of the best on the system in the early 90s, and it's still, it still, it looks awesome visually and presentation-wise on the Switch, and I believe this is on all other modern platforms pretty much too. So, you know, you can definitely get this anywhere. Now, if you're familiar with the original game, then you know what this is. And you'll probably enjoy this if you like the original game. It's definitely an acquired taste though. And, you know, in the review, I'm, I'm going to be focusing more on gameplay than atmosphere and, and, you know, visual presentation. Which, you know, that's a nice thing. But you take a game like, you know, Rise Son of Rome that came out on the Xbox One. You know, that was a great looking game but pretty damn mediocre, you know, when it came to the actual game and gameplay. So visuals really only go so far, and um, they, they don't make a game good for me. So you can see here, this game, it's very trial and error. You die in one hit, basically one fuck up on anything will kill you, but there are checkpoints in the stages, and you have unlimited continues. So I believe this game gets rid of the password system and just has, you know, auto saves like most modern games do. And if you shut the game off, you can go back to it at any time. It will save on your last checkpoint. But yeah, it's very specific. It's hard to tell here, but you know, one little fuck up in any of the things that you need to do. It's almost like an old arcade game, but in some ways it's even stricter because the controls are so fucking clunky, you know? And that's one thing I don't like about the game. And for me, that's kind of unforgivable, even though I know they were trying to go with a more cinematic style and visual with more... Uh, fluid looking animation, but it just plays like shit. It's similar to what they did with um, games like Prince of Persia, Blackthorn, and other games like that. And you see, this part right here is super specific that you're about to see. For this part, you um, have to just drop... Actually, no, I'm sorry, yeah, that, you don't want to do that, obviously. But um, for this part, you have to do it in exact way. I think you have to do a small hop. If you do a full jump, you just end up going through uh, and fucking and dying somehow. And it's it's real specific. It's hard to show here. I did do a tutorial on the game, but even in the tutorial, it is edited, so you don't really get to see um, exactly how clumsy the game can be. You really have to feel the controls for yourself. Just expect super delayed controls, very clunky controls, which makes the combat pretty shitty. It's a very trial and error game, so you really you have to be. You know, you have to be prepared for that. Be prepared for a game that you're going to have to completely memorize step by step. And, and part of that memorization is going to be doing things a little preemptively for, because of the clumsy, delayed control. So you have to kind of react earlier than you would in your, in your typical action game. It is very, very learnable, though. But it's just, it feels unnecessary to have to learn because of the bad controls, you know. I mean, it's one thing to learn a game that has tight controls. And it's super hard, but... This game, it took me maybe around two, two and a half hours to beat uh, using a video guide. I, I was watching a video. I didn't really want to figure it out. I was just going for the kill. But back in the day, I also used a guide on the Genesis version. I just used a text guide, which was probably took me a lot longer to beat because I was a, a worse player back then, and I had to navigate it with just text. Uh, maybe, some, maybe some still pictures, but... I actually always liked this game, though, even back then. Um, even as frustrating as it was, I, I always fucking liked it for whatever reason. I mean, because the presentation was so good. And I just enjoyed the atmosphere of the game a lot. But, um, you know, overall, I really got to rate games on a gameplay basis, you know. And there's going to be things like nostalgia and atmosphere and things like that that can kind of taint my my review if I let it. So I try to, I try to give cleaner reviews of, of what the game actually offers from a gameplay perspective. And as it stands, really, the game is just kind of like a memorization game where you're overcoming, you know, really shitty control. I mean, that's really the gameplay. You know, you're, you're memorizing shitty control and trial and error gameplay, and that's really all it is. And I mean, unless you're looking to do a speedrun or a no-death run or something, there's really no reason to replay the game that I can see. 
Unless you really enjoy the atmosphere and presentation that much that you want to relive it again and again. But, of course, these days you can just watch a fucking video to get that effect. So, um, for me, the game, I would give it a 5 out of 10. I would just consider it mediocre. It's almost below mediocre for me just because, um, like I said, the gameplay is really nothing special. Even if it had good control, it would be kind of shitty gameplay. And with the bad control, it makes it even worse. But I give it a 5 out of 10 just because it does still have some some special aspects to me. But, you know, maybe I would even rate it, you know, rate it lower. But I do actually like the game. For me, it's actually not that bad of a game because I like it. You know, I, I like the atmosphere so much. But I try not to be too biased. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.